I've got an itch I can't scratch, I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me, an open wound scar to see. Everybody come here, gather round, welcome to the freak show, the best in town. What the hell's wrong with me? I don't get along with anybody, honestly. I've been living in my own head constantly, thoughts jumbled round, think I need a new lobotomy. Wait, all these thoughts are too negative. I don't wanna get lost in the sedative. Gotta show them what I got, I'm competitive. You know I'm about to go off, I won't let them win, I'll take a stab. I wanna chase a bag, I wanna way I can change all the things I lack. I gotta face the facts, I gotta taste in that. Got me obsessed with the rest, I got an itch to scratch. Man, that's some good coffee. Like Juan Valdez brewed it himself. Hey guys, what's going on? Brian with Golf Carts Modified. Do you have questions? Better yet, do you have a golf cart and have questions? Well, if you do, you come to the right place. Guys, we're fixing to kick off our new show, Questions of the Day, Golf Carts Modified style. If you're not following us on Facebook, go check us out. We have a pretty awesome group page with over 23,000 members. We get questions every day on all different types of topics about golf carts. So, stick with us. We're gonna go through a most, I say most of them. We're gonna try to get through most of them. There's a lot of questions. There's a lot of questions that get repeated. That's part of the reason we're gonna do this, to get some of this information out to you guys. You know, the more info you know, the more you know. All right, so question of the day number one. First episode, first question. We're gonna come out swinging pretty hard here. I have some really good questions that I'm really working up some material on. I can't wait to get to those. But this question right here is probably one of our most asked questions on the page, especially for people that have electric golf carts. Well, pretty much this is for electric golf cart people. If you got a gas golf cart, I'm getting to you. Don't worry, your time is coming. So, one of the main questions we get asked is, hey, will larger battery cables make my cart faster and give me more torque? So, if this is a stock battery cable, you know, and you're running on a stock controller, you know, there's, you can change it to a little bit bigger cable. It might help a little bit. You're probably not gonna feel it. Now let's say you're running a big 600 amp Novitas controller or you're running a big custom tune controller and you've got a big motor and everything like that and you're like man I, I need to jump up and I need to get me some I need to get me some big cable you know we're gonna jump up to a cable about like this this is what I run this is two gauge welding cable I run this on almost everything I do I kind of dress mine up a little bit but you know me I like to be flashy man that's just my style then you can kind of go overkill and go with the zero gauge cable, which oh, there's really no need for that big honk. Look at that thing. That thing is freaking huge. There's really no need to go with that. I mean, it is cool looking. I'm not going to lie. You opened up your seat and there's big, huge zero gauge cable running through all your batteries, but it's not as necessary. But the question is, will these make my cart faster than these? Maybe. It will definitely help your cart, but you will not feel the difference in between the speed and the torque. The main reason you upgrade to a bigger set of cables is you have less resistance. Guys, this is very important, especially if you're gonna be doing big custom builds. If you're gonna be doing stuff like this where you're running you know, tires that are 30 inches and taller, you know, electricity generates a lot of heat and you get a lot of resistance, you know, these Big cables help with resistance. You bring down the bring down the heat, bring down less chance of melting, bring down less chance of hurting a motor or a controller. So it's just kind of a win-win. But do they make it faster? Well, some people say they do, but you really can't feel it. So does it make you faster? Eh, a little bit. But you're not gonna feel it. But does it help everything else? Absolutely. So even if you're still thinking about upgrading, it's, it's always a good idea to just go ahead and get a little bit bigger cable. You know, do you have to really go with something like this? Not unless you have some type of inferiority complex that you're trying to take care of. I'm not gonna mention who I got that cable from. He knows, it came off of his cart. So long run, get you some bigger cables, 
help your battery system, help your controller, help your motor. Will it make you faster? Probably not as much as you think it's going to. So remember, stock sucks. Throw that junk away. It's always time to upgrade. So guys, we're gonna be doing this every day. We're gonna be having new questions of the day. This is my first one. I'm just kind of jumping into this, learning how they will get better. I know I have some questions that are really gonna, I cannot wait to ask the one tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and just open up a whole can of worms on the page and I'm gonna start this question tomorrow. So think about that. Make sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, hit the bell, like and subscribe to this channel, check us out. We've got build vlogs coming out, we've got how-to videos coming out, and a whole lot more. Make sure to check us out, guys, and as always, go modify.